break it? What do you mean? Hello you guys, welcome back to the vlog. I'm currently in Salt Lake City right now, technically Sandy, Utah, if you want to get technical. It's like South Salt Lake because my boyfriend was coming here for the day to play some golf and it is absolutely beautiful out. It's still the end of February, but it's like 40, 45 degrees and like Windex blue skies. And it's just one of those days where it feels so warm, like I don't have an actual jacket on. I'm definitely in like my springtime outfit and I'm loving it. Yesterday was also pretty warm and tomorrow is supposed to be really warm as well. It's supposed to be like almost 60, I think, in Salt Lake City. City, which is like a little bit concerning seeing as it is the end of February but like I'm also so here for it like I am so ready for warm weather again I've closed out my winter chapter I'm ready for spring but I did pick up my parents last night because they're back in town to visit and two of my dad's friends are also here visiting for a few days but I had to pick them up at like they got in at 1130 so I was up really late last night because they had just landed at 1130 anyway so I'm pretty tired I didn't go to bed till like two so I really would love to get like a matcha right now um, I feel like I'm a little bit scatterbrained. In case it's cl not clear, I dropped my boyfriend off. He's golfing. I'm coming to a coffee shop to be able to get some work done. I also would maybe like to go for like a little walk. I literally brought so many bags <laughs> because I'm also so ready to change into some like active wear and go for a walk if I want. If it's like really that warm out, I just need some sun on my skin. That's like where I'm at, especially the two videos ago when I like really was venting to you guys about how I've been feeling lately. I'm like, I just need some sun on my skin too to help with my mental health like I hate the winter I, I think the biggest thing I struggle with in the winter is how just like suffocated I feel like I hate having the windows closed up the doors closed like no air or sun on my skin like I'm always just so closed and I don't like it like I love the summer months when you're able to keep the windows open keep the slider door open go outside in a t-shirt like it just feels so freeing and it's like so healing for me to have like sun and fresh air directly on my skin that's like where I'm at right now but I also think I'm being a little bit ambitious because I do have so much work to do and I brought so many different freaking things to work on <laughs> and I only have like four hours and I'm thinking I'm going to like run errands because I also want to go to Sephora because I need to pick up some things and go to a park to go walk and like edit a whole YouTube video and edit like three TikToks and then post on Instagram like it's like <laughs> it's not happening but we can appreciate the ambitious mindset you know I'm currently at the Honeysuckle Cafe in Sandy and I'm wanting to work here because it looks really cute but at the same time I saw like reviews online that it's always busy so I'm honestly not convinced I'm even going to be able to get a table so I'm doing a vibe check first before I bring all my stuff in. <laughs> I just want to know why no one's posted on that about on social media. That song is so good. It's called Animal by Noah Khan. It's such a vibe. I'm obsessed with it. That other coffee shop was unfortunately so freaking busy. I, I couldn't even whip out my camera to like get any clips like that's how jam-packed it was and there was no shot I was getting a table to do some work. So we're now officially at Athena Beans Coffee House and Bistro I also wanted to do a little fit check so I'm wearing this t um, little jacket that I got from TJ Maxx that I wore a few videos ago this shirt I got from a boutique, I think in Virginia, it says peace and love, and I love it. And then these pants are from Princess Polly. I'm obsessed with them. And then these Converse I found at Urban Outfitters. Awesome, thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Let us know. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
let's know if there's anything else. Thank right. you. Thank you. motion back in the whip ski that was honestly so enjoyable like i that was exactly what i wanted it wasn't too intense the other one i wanted i was like my head's gonna explode that's how many freaking people are in here but that was like super mellow super cozy and quiet that salmon bagel was absolutely phenomenal <laughs> like i don't know why it was so good and it was only eight bucks which i feel like a salmon bagel at least is like 13 dollars. i was like this is a freaking deal and i had zero like i had really low expectations i'm not gonna lie but it had some sort of like yellow drizzle on top that was so good and honestly i actually had the smoked salmon ick because if you guys follow me on instagram there was a time where i was really posting like i had another salmon and like sourdough with cream cheese fixation and so i had it for like i had it often for like a couple of weeks and then randomly i got the ick for it sometimes when i'm pmsing you know how you have like pregnancy symptoms i was getting like nauseous when i ate it and that's like what gave me the ick and like i haven't been able to eat it since it was literally like the day before i had gotten my period and i just was like this is disgusting and then i haven't been able to eat it since but then i just was like fuck it i'm gonna get it then because i was hungry and it was so good and it was so absolutely fire and the matcha was good like honestly 10 out of 10. okay it is already three o'clock now i did get a good amount of work done i unfortunately didn't finish editing that youtube video but we all knew that was ambitious of me to think that but i got like all the raw cuts done which is good now like all i have left to do is kind of like make it pretty and do like little fun edits and stuff like that i really ideally would like to go for a little walk right now even for like 20 20 30 minutes i just texted brian to get like a little bit of an eta and i'm hoping he's saying for me to come in like 40 minutes but knowing him he's gonna be like yeah we're getting ready to be done <sighs> but anyway that is stunning what the heck i really hate when google maps takes you to a random place like literally it's the worst so i typed this trailhead into google maps and it took me from like somewhere 10 minutes away from the coffee shop that i was at it took me to some random place like it just said that i was here and i was like in the middle of the road and i hate when that happens so i found this trail on all trails remapped it and it said it was 15 minutes from the point that apple maps had taken me to so anyways i'm here now even though i went to the complete wrong place and brian is done so i'm probably going to be walking for like 10 or 15 minutes and then i'm going to go pick him up It's a little bit later now. I picked up Letty and then we got some food. We went to Chipotle and I got a couple of chicken tacos, but then it was in a plaza right next to Alta, which was not anticipated, but it worked out perfectly because I really needed to get a few things, specifically more shampoo and conditioner. But they unfortunately didn't have a Mika, which is the kind that I use now and really like. And I feel like spending $30 on shampoo and conditioner each is kind of a lot. So I was bummed that they didn't have that one there at Ulta. So I got the living proof one and it's, I don't know, it says full, it should add volume and fullness, which I need this here in Utah because there's no humidity in the air and my hair does not like that. So I got this for shampoo and conditioner. We're gonna do a haul on the road as Letty drives, but I unfortunately can't fit my camera anywhere to prop it up. I was dying to try this e.l.f. lip oil because I, of course, was seeing it on TikTok and it was only $8 and I really am a fiend for lip products. We all know I'm not very skilled with makeup, but I love me a good lip product. So I got this in the shade Rose MV, which we're going to have to test it. Sorry, this lighting is like super intense. Then, of course, I had to get another one of my all-time favorite little lip products. I bought two of these last April. I think right before I went to Costa Rica and they honestly have lasted me almost a full year even though I use it all the time so I get it in the shade rose either rose if I want to be more natural or hibiscus if I want a little bit more color but I just went for the rose one today and then I really needed a new lip liner because the color like the shade I have just isn't 
it doesn't really fit my lips really well. So the girl that was working there, I asked for some help and she recommended these NYX ones, the retractable ones. And I got this in the color nude pink. Letty actually picked out this shade because he felt like it matched my lips more and watch it be spot on because he's good at all that stuff. Um, but I think this is going to look super cute with the Tarte little lip gloss. I'm hoping we're going to do a little tester. And then also while I was there, I really wanted to try the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer because I really don't like to wear foundation because A, I just hate the way it feels, but B, I just also don't really feel like I like the way it looks. So I was thinking like, oh, maybe I can get a high quality concealer that I could use and have it like cover up any problem areas or like really just to brighten my under eyes and like the bags on my eyes. So I had, again, the girl that was working there, I had her help me shade match me because I really always struggle to find the right shade because sometimes with concealer it's supposed to be lighter or whatever, I don't really know. So I had her pick out a shade for me which was helpful but I still just feel like I didn't love the way that it looked and I don't know regardless it made me realize that the drugstore one that I do have actually isn't that bad because like the texture of it still looked the same so I decided not to get that but maybe one day I'll invest in a concealer but not today I love that Letty's tart from golf because he's just patiently waiting while I film on multiple different platforms okay this is what the liner plus the little lip oil looks like from um elf I honestly like it, especially like picture me dressed up kind of. We're going out. I want something a little bit more, you know, a little more oomph to carry the makeup. I love it. As we keep moving left, like a Good morning, you guys. It is a few days later now, and it's supposed to be another beautiful bluebird day. 45 degrees. I'm pretty sure there's a high of 45. And so my boyfriend and I are going to go ski for a couple of hours this morning. Just because it's so dang nice out and it's crazy that we literally already only have like a month left of ski season. So to be honest, I'm not like super stoked on going, but I feel like it's going to be obviously a great way to enjoy the day. And like I said, we don't have a lot of time left for skiing. So let's go. Also, I'm so incredibly hooked. I have like 60 pages left. It took me like a while to actually start this, but since I have, I've been like flying through this. It's so good. <laughs> Let's go one way this time and the other way the other time. right in there. I mean, there's definitely no new snow in there. These little bumpies are not it.
I know. I just skied that terribly. I, so this area is called the colony and there's literally like 20 plus million dollar homes in here and they're absolutely insane skiing ski out. smells good. Dude, they're in an EDM wave today. <laughs> like, hard EDM. First I thought he said, how'd you like it? A bunch of tricksters up here telling me my shoelace is untied. Yeah, they think they're pulling it faster than this lady. Skiing was all right. The snow just was obviously not very great because we haven't had snow in a minute now, like in a week or so. So just any snow that we have gotten in the past few weeks was just very skied out. So like the conditions weren't very good, but just like the sun was great. The weather was great. It just was nice to be outside. But now I'm going to hit legs right now and I'm trying to really keep this like in an hour leg day situation because then I also want to go run some errands. Yeah, 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 never switch on the homies in the day ones, they didn't want to open doors, so we made some, take a bow on these haters like I'm Trey Young, that direct deposit hitting like a bass drum, and coming, 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 keep it in, coming, 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 keep it in, coming, never switch on the that I came up with, eh. no new friends with the same old click. Eh. Couple old homies went and stabbed me in the back, but it's no love lost. I'll probably bless him with some stacks. That direct deposit lovely. Went from shaking Kool Aid packets to popping bubbly. Went from asking women for hugs and now they hugging me. Ain't life lovely. Do it so good, make a hater wanna love. Never me. switch on the homies in the day ones. They didn't wanna open doors, so we made some. Take a bow on these haters like I'm Trey Young. That direct deposit hidden like a bass drum. And coming, 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 keep it in. Coming, 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 keep it in. Coming. Gucci bucket hats and Louis Vuitton wallets. My hand been itching, I call it the Prime Pilot. Landed on some acres, I probably should start buying But I keep spending money on jewelry and fine dining God just blessed me with a rollie, I call it divine timing Came up out the Honda, the Tessie is self-driving Still in first class, I got goals to fly private Sweet in every winter, I'm racking up sky mileage Never switch on the homies in the day ones They didn't wanna open doors, so we made some Take a bow on these haters like I'm Trey Young That direct deposit hitting like a bass drum And coming, coming Coming, coming, keep it in. Coming, 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 keep it in. Coming. Workout was good but very minimal. I didn't really do a ton of exercises, but my boyfriend and my dad's birthdays are literally like the day apart. It's my dad's birthday and the next day is my boyfriend's birthday, which I honestly like weirdly love. So I'm going to go get a couple of birthday cards for them. And I just found really cute ones the other day at World Market, but I didn't buy any. So now we're back to buy some. Like, look how cute these little pop-up birthday cards are. I'm obsessed with them. Wait, it gets even better. <laughs> I need to get one. Dude, I swear everything in the world market is so cute. Look at this. That's adorable. My problem is I'm so not the person to be like, oh, I found one I like and move on. Like, I need to look at every single card, but I'm going to stop myself from doing so because I already have this many in hand and I'm like halfway through. So I feel like I have one that I could choose from at least. This one I just found and my boyfriend's a huge golfer if you don't know. And this one is like so his speed, but not really my personality, but like 
so him but then i want one to show my personality so like this is kind of funny because he knows i love cannolis the light up one is probably gonna have to go unfortunately and then for my dad i had like a few different options but I think this one is just perfect for him. It says, happy birthday to a legend. As soon as I saw it, I was like, this is Joe. Because he's a legend. I love Joe. No, I do not. So your total is going to be... Thank you so much. Yeah, of course.